So Timak, how are you feeling right now? Yeah, um, it's a pretty special feeling at the moment, pretty hard to describe. Um, pretty excited for this game, I've been thinking about it all day, the opportunity to get out on Adelaide Oval, my home ground, in front of friends and family and, and start off the Ashes, which um, couldn't have scripted it any better and um, yeah, to have a good performance personally and as a team, just, just thrilled really. Yeah, I think a few people are asking how you slept last night, what you ate, <laughs> Yeah. what's the secret? I was just that relaxed, that chilled, just kept everything real normal. Um, yeah. Went for a walk today with Dars, got some lunch, just real chill. <laughs> um, and yeah, like I said, the biggest thing for me was I was just that excited and enjoy, enjoyed every moment of it tonight. So I think that was probably the key to the success. Yeah, do you know where your family was sitting? No, I was trying to find them before <laughs> the game, looking around, couldn't spot them at all. So um, hopefully they were here tonight, they told me they were coming. But um, yeah, very special to play in front of friends and family. And the crowd were awesome tonight. Every time I did something, they were, they were cheering nice and loud. So um, yeah, really special night. Yeah, I think when we were chatting the other day before that Combank shoot, you were saying um, you look around Adelaide Oval and you can't believe it's your office. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. How special is it to play like that on your home turf? Yeah, it's really special. We've been sort of walking into training and a lot of the other girls are sort of commenting how nice the game, uh, the ground is, how special it is. And I think I take it for granted a bit being able to train here every single day. So um, it's a very special place to play cricket. Um, fantastic cricket wicket and some really good fans in the crowd. So, um, yeah, really excited for the opportunity we get to play three at Adelaide Oval. And when did you find out you were going to be batting at number three? Yeah, so I found out last night on the team meeting on Zoom, um, sort of batting order popped up and uh, it took me a while to find my name at first and when I saw it was three, I sort of had to double check and and sort of have to, yeah, double check and ask a few people if it was legit because it surprised me a little bit, but um, love the opportunity um, and when you've got batters like, uh, yeah, Midge and uh, Meg opening the batting and you see everyone coming in behind you, you get so much freedom at the crease to just play my natural game and, um, and know that the rest of the team is going to get the job done as well. It was a huge total. I know you guys thought it was about par, but how do you approach a run chase like that with such a big target? Yeah, it was. Yeah, we said it was probably about par. Um, England got off to a really good start, um, and then we pegged them back really well at the end. Um, and we knew that on that sort of wicket, when the lights came on, it would just skid on a bit, and good cricket shots, quick outfield, um, would give us every chance of getting over the line. And, and it helps when you only lose the one wicket as well. And um, yeah, it was pretty important for Megan and I to be there, not out at the end. So um, yeah, really good run chase and, and really good start to the series. And um, we're going to lose light here, but just quickly, he took us through those two Yorkers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I've sort of said that um, Meg came up to me and said the plan was to bowl full and straight um, and I am not great at executing my Yorkers in the past so I just sort of gave it a crack and it came off tonight so I was pretty, pretty pleased with that and hopefully I can execute a few more throughout the series.